and I'm a senior at Charleston Collegiate. Um, and my day gets started around 7.30, 7.40 every morning. Instead of just being in class, you know, hearing a lecture, taking a test like every day, I feel like um, I learn more, I achieve more, I get closer to the community and my friends. That's how, I mean, that's how I made friends is by doing these projects with them. Because when I first came here, I didn't know anybody. It was my first year. Um, it was really hard to make friends, so by doing those projects, I was able to make friends also. The quality of education is really good. Um, there was many opportunities that it, the scholarships have given me, um, such as me being able to play sports, um, as well as um, attending uh, camps that I've not been able to attend. After I graduate high school, I plan on um, continuing my athletic career in uh, football at Brevard College and majoring in arts and architecture and eventually becoming an architect. Aaron is just one of 29 students who is at Charleston Collegiate because of the generosity of Briars Creek members. Together with the McNair Foundation, this year the scholarship fund at CCS is nearly $300,000. And of course, to celebrate and raise funds, it's the annual McNair Invitational at Briars Creek. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Briars Creek. Um, welcome to the Robert and Janice McNair Invitational. It's wonderful to have you here today. Um, this event kicks off our year of just some wonderful tournaments here at Briars Creek. This one is very near and dear to our hearts because of the way our community and membership come together to support um, these young men and women from Charleston Collegiate. This is just a small representation of the students that you help support in their educational pursuits um, and helping their future. Enjoy your time out there. Play well. Uh -oh. Stay up, stay up, uh -oh. stay up. Yes, ma'am. Take a left, please. And don't you do uh, it. Right. Don't you do it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Woo yes, ma'am. Good Pat. and straight. Okay. Take a left, get on the green. Settle down, settle, settle, settle. Oh, oh, turn. That was, that was for two. While it's a fun day on the golf course, this day also means so much to so many at Briars and Charleston Collegiate. The guardian of this family came to our school um, a number of years ago and said, um, one of my children um, just has something really special. And we just really think he can kind of move beyond um, what the rest of us in this family have done. There's just something special about him. He works so hard from the moment he's come into school. He, um, academics um, maybe don't come very easy to him, but his work ethic is so strong that he excels. Um, he works so hard in the classroom. He works so hard on the court in the athletic field. He works hard for his teachers, for his friends, um, and he has just made the most of this opportunity. Um, and is getting ready to graduate this year and head off to college as one of the very first in his family um, on a full scholarship. This relationship is so instrumental for our institution and thank you. Um, life is expensive and you guys really help our school with, afford the opportunities for a lot of people. Of course, members have their own stories as to why they give. Well, um, I'm gonna blame a lot of it on my husband. Uh, he had a very successful business and he had a heart that said philanthropy and here's Charleston Collegiate we knew nothing about it but we there was a child that we met and we sort of looked at each other and we liked the family but they were unable to send him and we said you know what we can help him and that started it and of course he had three siblings. <laughs> and that philanthropic spirit that Mrs. Baker speaks of has spread to so many other Briars members. Uh, we identify with the mission of Charleston Collegiate. Uh, most of us personally have benefited from good education as ourselves and it's kind of a privilege to be able to uh, give back and help kids in this area ensure that they get the same quality education we all have. Um, and certainly when we realize that the staff um, and their uh, families were, uh, you know, greatly assisted by the scholarships that this uh, program uh, supports. It, it makes it really an easy uh, 
an easy thing for us to do. We were introduced to Charleston Collegiate when our son Avery, who's now in college, he's at the College of Charleston, he was in fifth grade and our daughter Zoe was in first. And uh, Greg and I went over for a tour and it was because of Ruth Baker. She said, um, you have to go see the school. And we went over there and I said to Greg, we walked out and I think I was literally crying because I was like, there's something so special about that campus and place when you go on. Um, you, you see the children laughing, you see the halls filled with art, you see students come up to you and are interacting with you. And I left and I said, this is, our children have to be here. And quite frankly, we couldn't be there without the scholarship program. I came here in first grade and I was a very shy little girl. Like I, yeah, I was very shy and quiet. And compared to now, I am a lot more confident. I talk to, I could talk to anyone now. Um, and CCS has helped me become more of like an, just an independent person. And they have been able to help me become more of like a strong leader. I feel like the relationship between Briars Creek and our school and you know raising money um, for you know all students that need scholarships or an opportunity at Charleston Collegiate and to get a better education I feel like it's really good and it's beneficial because for myself I know that you know I come from a family that's not able to you know afford a uh, private school but, I'm, but I, well, with the help with Briars Creek I was able to do that. I get home about 7.15, um, I eat um, and then I try to get some work done. Um, some nights in like during after games it's hard to get work done but you know it's still got to get done. Work normally gets done around 10, 30, 11 o'clock so my day is not really uh, too easy I guess you could say. Mm -hmm.